What's up, it's your girl Zari and Akia. If you don't know me, and I'm here about to do this quick, well, it probably won't be that quick, but this get ready with me. I'm about to get ready and go to a photo shoot that I have um, later on in a few hours or so. Probably a couple hours, so I'm just gonna record this get ready with me and let you guys see how I'm going to do my makeup. We're going for a bronzy look, so yes let's get straight into this look i want to start off i'm going to prime my face i did my eyebrows off camera so yes i'm going to prime my face with the maybelline master prime i'm just put a little bit of on my the tip of my finger and i'm going to put that pretty much all in my t-zone i'm going to prime my eyelids using my la girl pro concealer and fawn I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid. I actually had a little bit left over on my the part, the uh, back side of my hand, so I'm just gonna scoop that up and put that right on my lid, and then blend it out with a blending brush. Okay. So this is the blending brush I'm gonna use. It's by Elf. I'm just gonna blend that all out. Make sure you guys check the description box below for all the products I use, for the links to my social media accounts, and all of that, you guys. And also, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel, that video. Said that wrong? I'm so excited, like, I'm really, like, I haven't did a photo shoot in so long, I feel like, and now it's like, I'm getting back to doing the things I actually like to do and being more focused on the things that really matter to me instead of just wasting my time you know doing the things that don't I found, like, I found myself actually doing that a lot recently and I'm like I was getting so disappointed with myself and just getting so upset and so now I'm really <clears throat> putting forth the effort for self-discipline so I can really stay on track and actually the things that I need to do to get where I need to be you know, or where I want to be in life because I was slacking like I was not things was not going how I really wanted it to go and so since I've been back focused and back on my grind things are going actually a-okay I'm going to take my Zulu by Julius Place palette and I'm going to use oops I'm digging in the palette I'm going to use this um brown shade and just put that all in my crease on the blend out of my crease using my Morphe M504 brush and just get that all in my crease I'm just using two eyeshadow or two yeah two eyeshadows today I'm not really going for a real you know um dramatic eye because i'm going to show you guys what else i did to, uh for this photo shoot i made some body shimmer all i did was put some of my highlighter into some baby oil and just shook it up and i'm going to show you guys it came out actually super duper pretty so i yep, just want to blend this into my crease just like that. Okay, so for my lid color, I have the Juvia's Place highlighter and the Royalty one. It's a loose highlighter, you guys. And this is the highlighter that I did put into the baby oil. Let me show you guys right now. Like, do you see this? I actually mixed a couple of highlighters in here, but this was the main one that I use. I use a lot of this one. And like, just, do you see that? I'm about to be a bronze goddess for this photo shoot. I'm gonna take a flat flat brush and put that all over my lid. Look, do y'all see that? Like, look at that. I love Julia's face, like, oh my goodness. Their stuff is so pigmented and just the bomb. I just love how it just, you just see it pop instantly and like it's just oh my gosh I've been sleeping on it because I've had it for a while and I just really didn't use it for real 
and it's like I'm using it and I'm just like really you had this jewel hidden a little bit on his brush and blend out the edges <laughs> so it can look like there we go that's the type of look I'm going for like a not smoked out but like a blended out shimmer lid that's all I was going for it's just like a blended out shimmer lid on my boss lash to prime my lashes for my false lashes, I want to use my L'Oreal Telescopic Black Mascara. It's actually in carbon black. This is one of the best drugstore mascaras there is out there, in my opinion. Let me add that in there. And look at the little brush. Like the wand is so small and so precise, it gets literally right in so close to the um to the lash line that it's. You guys, I love this mascara, okay? But I'm just gonna put on one coat of this because I am putting on false lashes. If I wasn't putting on false, lash, false lashes, I would put a couple coats because this makes my lashes pop so good, you guys. I just love it. I really do. See, like, look at that. You can look, you can see the the little lashes I do have. It's just from this mascara. It's crazy. So just gonna put one coat on this eye as well. And let's pop this lash on and see how this one look. Hopefully it gives me the look that I'm going for. Like I'm not even using the tweezers. I just feel like I had to concentrate so much to get this lash on. And yes, that's giving me the look that I'm going for. Kind of pop this lash right on, close to the lash line. I'll check my lashes out, check it out, check it out and see if I like it. Okay, Smashbox foundation. I'm just going to blend that all over my face. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit and put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm gonna blend this out using my flat kabuki brush and put that all over my skin. Hit that jawline. Get that forehead together. I have to say this is, I'm going to highlight using my Juvia's Place highlighter in the shade 12. I'm going to put that on my chin, under my eyes. I was looking at this. actually going to highlight with the Juvia's Place 13. That's the one I was supposed to highlight with. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of this on top of the other highlighter that I was using, this is the one that I wanted to use. Put it on my nose and forehead. Then my damp beauty blender. It is damp with water. We're gonna drag that up. I'm gonna set my face using my Sasha Butterflix just like this. And I open it like that so the product can go to the going to the top. Raw highlighter. Gonna set my face.
pretty much set my entire face with this. Hot with this uh, setting powder. I don't know why I was gonna say highlighter. <laughs> I never jumped on that trend. I should have. My Black Radiance Tonsor Palette. As you can see, I hit pan. This is one of my go-tos, okay? I definitely love this contour palette. It's like a reddish brown, so it really gives back of that warmth instead of giving you like a shadowy type. Cause I feel like with melanin skin, melanated skin, you have like more sort of red undertones and all that stuff and it just looks better with color. So I'm gonna put that all in the, in the shadows of my cheeks. Just blend that in there. As you see the like the reddish undertone, so pretty. And I'm just dusting. When you hear that tap, that's me dusting off the excess powder that may be on the brush because you don't want to be too heavy. Of course. I'm gonna go in and dust away the excess setting powder that I had on my skin. And like dab it in. Also like dust it away and then like kind of dab it in. And like a blend in motion. Dust it in my under eyes. Now I'm going to contour using that same contour shade. I want to contour my nose using that same contour shade. Let me just make, I'm going to snatch this nose. Oh, I have hair right there. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to clean up my highlighted, my contour area and just Put this same loose setting powder underneath my hot my contour. I don't know why I keep stumbling on my words today. Like I just cannot talk. So yeah. Take the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and put that right below my or on my lower lash lines. So I'm gonna try to make these lower lashes pop. And put a couple coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the excess setting powder underneath my contour. Just make sure it's blended all out. Go like that. Boom. Like to blend it. So make sure everything blends seamlessly. Okay, now I'm gonna highlight using that Juvie's Place highlighter that I, should, that I put on my eyelids. So, I wanna put it on my brow bones, my nose. My Fix Plus by MAC. So, let me go ahead and do that. I don't like how this bottle spray out. It sprays out so heavy. It's not like a mist, it's like super heavy. Look at the, do y'all see that glow? Like, tell me you see it. Like golden hour, that's definitely me. Definitely the golden hour. And okay, makeup, lip pencil, and coffee, and this um, lip gloss. I don't know what it is because it then rubbed off. <laughs> I'm loving this lip liner. It's like so creamy, so nice.
together it looks better okay yes yeah, so this is the look go and fix my hair since the makeup is done i'm gonna go and style my hair and i'll be right and this is the final look you guys i hope you enjoyed watching this get ready with me i am about to go do a photo shoot and i wanted this bronzy look as you can see like it is so freaking pretty i actually really love it i feel like a little melanated goddess or whatnot with the passion twist the short passion twist and everything so i am so in love with this look and I'm in love with this lip color, like this lip liner. It's bomb. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys in my next video.